today in this video i will show you how you can upload images and show the name of images and also size of uploaded images and i will make it in javascript custom code so let's see the preview here first of all so i will upload here the images suppose i will upload this image so you can see it's showing first of all one dot file and the name of images is you can see this and the size you can see and I can upload multiple images here. So suppose I will upload these two images. So you can see one file and name this and also size this. And here is the two file and the name is this and the size is this. So I will make it in JavaScript in this video. So let's see guys how you can do it. Here is my Visual Studio code. And first of all, here I will just write input type file and i will write an id id equals to my file you can write here any name of this id and i will write another attribute multiple because i can upload multiple images so this attribute for multiple up image upload and here i will write a method and the method is on change because when we upload any images that's the method are on change not on click so this method is on change and equals to and the method name is my function you can write any name of this method as per your choice and now here i will write a id p tag and id is demo because inside this demo id that means inside this p tag I will show all the image name and also image size in, in this ID. So now inside this HTML page everything is done. So I will copy this my function and before I will show you the preview. So here is the input type file is created and now I will copy this method and I will go to the custom.js file because here I will write the function. So I can write the two way like function and function name and curly braces this is the simple method and we can write here egma script six arrow function so the syntax is equals to and equals to arrow so that's called arrow function and that's supported into egma script six that means javascript six so you can write here two way so here i will write this this way arrow function so now first of all here i will write a variable where x equals to document dot get element by id and the id name is this my file so i will store this input type file inside this x variable so where x equals to this id and semicolon to separate this line and I will write another variable text and equals to and text is now first of all blank because inside this text variable I will store all the name and all the message I will store inside this text variable and at the last I will print this text variable inside this demo ID so let's see how I can write the code and I will explain all the code what I am doing here so i need first input type name so first of all i will write here if function so if and the inverted comma and file in x so this files returns all the property of input type files so i need files in x x means this input type files because i stored the id inside this x variable so when i i have written here files in x that means it will be written the property of this input type files file property returns the property of input type files so now here i will write another if condition that's called nested if so x dot files dot length 
length double equals to zero length double equals to zero means when i am not uploading any images so length is zero so then i will print an a message inside this i i told you that all the message i will so print it inside this text variable so this text variable and here i will write a string message so select one or more than one file you can pass any message here as per your choice and now here i will write a else function that means when i'm uploading the images so first of all is length null that means when i'm not uploading so then it will be printed that else function, else function means when i'm uploading the image so here i can upload multiple images so for that i have to write a for loop so for and where i equals to zero and i less than x dot files dot length and i plus plus so um, I can upload multiple images so for that I have written for loop and the loop will be will be looped up to i less than x dot files dot length the x means uploaded files so that's length up to that length it will be looped one by one and now here inside this text variable and I will add some space. This is the syntax. You loop the cap properly equals to so plus and equals to both are attached. And here I have added some space. That's the syntax because I can upload multiple images, so it will be shown one by one. So for that, I have to write here plus and equals to. And here, first of all, I will write inverted comma and be a tag. And here I will add a strong tag. Strong is the HTML tag to bold and plus i plus one plus dot five. And now I will close the strong tag. And here I will write another beard tag. So when I'm uploading, suppose I'm uploading here one pic, then first of all it will be show the number one. And when I'm uploading more than one pic, like two, so then it will be show i plus one, that means two because I increased one by one so first of all I'm showing the count of image one two three four like that and after that here I will write another variable where file so inside this file variable so I will store x dot files i so that means when up uploading multiple images so x dot files i because i increased one by one and both i'm storing inside this file variable so i'm so guys here i'm store i store this inside this files file variable so now i need a name so here i i have shown the number of uploaded images and now I need to print the name of image so here I will write not here I will write if if name in file because when the uploaded images are storing inside this file variable and here I have written files in X that means I can I am getting all the property of input type files and now I need only name so I have written name in file because all the uploaded files I am storing here inside this file variable so I need 
the name of uploaded file so here i have written name in file and name returns the name of uploaded file so when i am getting name then i will store this name inside this text variable so text plus equals to in the same way because here it can be multiple so plus equals to that for multiple names. so and now here name colon plus file dot name plus and be attack for break this line so that's the name for name and now I want to show here now size so if the same way size in file because all the uploaded files I'm storing inside this file variable so when I have written I, I have write, written here size in file that means it will be written the size of uploaded files so then the same way this text variable space equal plus equals to and size colon that's the string you can pass any value and plus file dot size plus and here I would like bytes and be a tag for break this line so now here is the if condition completed and this is the if condition completed and this is the for loop and here is the else part now here I will write another else part so if x dot value double equals to null so this text variable I will show a message select one or more than one file and now here I will light in spot so inside this is spot I will print here the file property is not supported in your browser you can pass here any message as per your choice so I have written this message but you can write any message and now here same way text be attack and the path of the selected file x dot value so that means when the value is black so then I'll store here this message and another else part x dot value and now it's completed 
the else part and after that I will store this text variable inside this demo ID because I told you I will show the message so the name and size inside this demo ID and all the message I will store inside this text variable so I will store printed inside this text variable in this demo ID so document dot get element by ID equals to demo dot in our HTML equals to this text variable so save and here I will save that and now I will go to the browser and refresh it so now I will upload I have choose this and this image so you can see one dot file two dot file name size and here is the name size and this one dot file I have written the line is here so I have written I plus one that means when I'm uploading images then it will show first of all count so I plus one dot file so you can see here one dot file two dot file and after that name and size so you can see name and size here and if I doesn't upload any value that means blank so you can see it's printed the message select one or more than one file because I have written here if value null then I am showing this message so guys hope this video is helpful for you and if you want to get more javascript jquery's video and if you want to learn angular then please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon to get more videos